Simmers, this video was presented by EA Creator Network. Thank you to EA. Hey Simmers, welcome to a brand new Sims Mobile video. So it's that time of the year. So let's basically just get into it. So in this video, I'm just going to go over the stuff that's coming in this brand new Sims Mobile Christmas update. So as the blog note starts, ho ho ho, tis the season to be jolly. So get your Sims in a holiday mood. Deck the hallways with tree mundus decorations. Gear up with festive new outfits and join in the fun new update because hearty holidays is here. So the first thing we're going to start with is basically the Sim Festival. So I'm going to start going over the brand new items in the Sims Festival. And this is called Hearty Holidays. So without further ado, let's get on with this. So Simmers, on the first item, it's the Mo More Lipstick. And that comes in six different colour swatches. Second item is the Moulded Magnificent Wallpaper. It comes in six different colour swatches. The next item is the Knitted Warmth Beanie, and that comes in six different colour swatches. Then we have got the Itchocrate Inlay Tiles, which comes in six different colour swatches. Then we've got the Snow Place Like Home Door, which comes in six different colour swatches. Then last of all on the free track is the McCracken Signature Plaque. So the first item you'll get on the paid pack is this NPC, Kevin McCracken. And then the second item is going to be the Old Meets New Ancestral Clock. And that comes in six different colour swatches. Then we have got the Frantically Barracou Love Seat. I probably said that wrong. That comes in six different colour swatches. The Crispy Weather Jacket, which comes in six different colour swatches. We also get the Fabulous Favourite Coffee Table. And that comes in six different colour swatches. Also, there is the Santa's Smallest Surprise. And that comes in six different colour swatches. Then we have got the Deck the Hall Lit Stairs. Six different colour swatches. Cannot wait for that. Then we have got the Magic Carpet Rug, which comes in six different colour swatches. Not really mad about it, but it's it's cute. Then we have, oh, I'm showing it to you twice. The Magic Carpet Rug, again, in six different colour swatches. And then we have the Sasha Fierce Hair, which comes in six different colour swatches. And then I thought I might as well show you again. Sasha Fierce Hair in six different colour swatches. Then we have the Heart and Celeste Window, which comes in six different colour swatches. Then this is the new house template, which is the McCracken Suburban House. And that comes, well, no colour swatches. Then it's the Royal Hierarchy. That comes in six different colour swatches. And last of all, you get the Hearty Holidays Trophy. And that just comes in your basic one swatch. So the first event in this update is the Sweet Holiday Sweet Treat Showdown rerun. And that will start on the 6th of December. And it is an 11 day event. I will pop a link in the description for Rachel Bob's video on that event. So you guys can see what prizes and stuff that's actually in that like event. So Simmers, on the 14th of December, the 12 Days of One Pools returns. So I'm just basically going to show you quickly all of the items that we get. This is indeed a rerun. Cannot actually remember when this first came from I think it might be in like two three years ago now maybe it's like one of the original Winterfest like events so yeah it's come back in this event like in this update excited for it to be honest we can't have like too many well n we can't have enough can we Christmas decorations as anyone knows if anyone knows me in game this is probably my favorite time of the year as well as Halloween and I love it. So there you go. So Simmers, before I get started on the other events, I just want to quickly go over the one pulls. So this is the first one pulls, and this comes on the 1st of January. And these are the two prizes for that one pulls. Then the second one pulls comes on the 13th of January. And these are the two items from that one pulls. Then the third one pulls of this update is coming on the 25th of January. And these are the two items from that event. 
To be honest, I think they're actually starting to step up a little bit with the Wumples items. Then the last Wumples of this is coming on the 6th of February. And these are the two items from that Wumples. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of these items. And then let's move on to some of the other events in the update. Okay, so guys, the first event of the update, basically a brand new one, is called New Year's Dock and Roll. And that will be starting on the 20th of December, and that is a 14-day event. So let's go in-game and have a look at the items. So, first of all, I am going to basically show you the cast items of this up, well, this event. So, first of all, I am going to go to my female sim. We're going to go into Cass. And then, let me just move my microphone over a bit. My microphone -y. And then let's go to hair, and then I'm looking for the birds of a feather hair. Although, saying that if I go to shop, it might come up. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, there it is. Okay, so this is one of the items from this new treasure hunt, and this is the birds of a feather hair. So I'm not going to go through all of the um, colour swatches, because obviously, you, you know, everyone knows. It all comes in 17 different colour swatches. And yeah, it's a nice little hairstyle. Not too bad. Then the next cast item is a top. And let me just go into two seconds. It's, you can tell I have not recorded a video in a little while. So I'm just going to go through my items. And it is the Perry Plus peddling top okay so it's sleeveless here we go so this is the peri plus prim pemlim pe pe plum top i'm probably butchering the words like the names that's just me and that comes in six different color swatches then the next item we have is the ban dew zipper skirt and this will come in six different colour swatches. So if I just quickly have a little mooch. Just bear with me a minute. See this is the thing about looking for cast items. Because we have so much stuff now. It's like, oh, there we are. So you can't actually see it much. But you can see it a little bit. And it's quite a short skirt. And that comes in six different colour swatches. Then, have we got any more? Oh, we have got... So this would be an accessories. Or would it be necklaces? Just give me... Oh, okay. Here we go. So this is the Holly Knight Fours Collar. And this comes in six different colour swatches. So we've got a nice little Christmassy collar. Then, I think that is it for the female sims. So if I exit without saving, then if I go over to my sim here, and then I am looking for the Creston Waves hairdo. So if I just quickly get rid of his hat, go to hair, just bear with me a minute. So this hairstyle is quite nice actually. It's kind of, it's like braided. So if you just bear with me a minute. La la la. Where are ya? So normally they... It's normally marked as like new. But this time round it's not. So let's have a look in the closet. In the shop rather. Um, where are ya? Okay. So by the looks of it this hairstyle is actually missing from this build so i will i know there's a oh no 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 ignore me because i know there's a couple of items okay maybe i don't like it there's a couple of items that's actually missing from the treasure hunt in this build but they should be present in the new build basically what you guys will get when the update comes out on the 6th of december so the next item is oh my god I've gone into DNA and then 
<laughs> okay, so let's go to outfits. So I'm looking for the tenuous tuxedo. Literally butchering these names. So this comes in six different colour swatches. So that's quite nice. I like that. That's cool. And then I think that is the last cast item. So I'm going to show you the build by objects. So I'm not going to show you in order. So I'm literally just going to go in random form and show you that way. So first of all, I am going to show you this. It is massive. Ooh. So this is the festive patio per gola. And this comes in six different colour swatches. So if you want to throw some parties, blimey. Like, it, it is massive. And then the next item is the Celebration Bar. And this comes in six different colour swatches. So obviously we needed another bar. <laughs> then the next item I'm going to show you is this door. Which I, quite, I like it. It's an entrance door. So an adorable entrance, and this comes in six different colour swatches. Then on the floor here is the item that you win if you complete like Small Fry's little quest, and that comes in six different colour swatches. Then up here is a window, so it's the scenic circular window. I do apologise if I like butcher any names by the way, this is me. It's what I do. So I do apologise. Then we have here the turquoise ter territory painting. Territory painting. And that comes in six different colour swatches. Then we have on the wall here the steer free of drama decor. I think I need that in my life right now. And that comes in six different colour swatches. And then we've got a lovely naughty or nice glass light which i really like and that comes in six different color swatches oh i like the orange oh let's go with the orange we know ginger loves a bit of orange then on the table here we have got the good old nostalgic lamp oh i actually said that right and that comes in six different color swatches then we have here the not too shabby table and that comes in six different colour swatches. So it's nice to have like a big table. If I remember rightly, one of the items that is actually missing from this build is the not too shabby chair. So there is a matching chair which should be there soon. And then you've got the fairy tale love seat. And that comes in six different colour swatches. So I think that is everything. Yes. So that is everything for that um new year's dock and roll treasure hunt so let me know what you guys think in the comments and let's move on to the next event so the next event is a rerun and it's a step it up rerun and this will run for 11 days from the 4th of january i'll put a link in the description for rachel bob's video which will show you the items from this event the next event will be starting on the 18th of January and it's the lovely knickknacks treasure hunt event So let's go into game and have a look at the items Okay, so let's go over the items in this treasure hunt So the first item I am going to be looking for is the floral laurel hairdo So Just give me a minute Because you know what I am like um, there we go. So this is the floral horror, laurel hairdo, and this comes in the seventeen different color swatches. So as before, I'm not going to go over all of them because obviously we know that everything comes in the same amount of color swatches. So the next item I am going to show you is just bear with me a minute in Cass is the Love at Frost Sight shorts. So if I go back to bottoms, oh there they are, right at, the, right at the start, and they come in six different colour swatches, and they're for female sims. So the next 
cast item is for male sims and it's the rocking rhomboid vest so if I just call you over and let's look for it so okay so I've got a brief idea of what it looks like so just give me a minute because everyone knows what I'm like when it comes to this La la la. I think they should do it. So we can sort it so the new stuff goes straight to the top. It'd be so much easier. Um, is it here? Watch it. It's gonna be right at the bottom, isn't it? Oh. Just give me a minute. Let me go through these tops. It's a rocking rhomboid. So I know there's a couple of items missing from this build, like I mentioned before. So it could be that. So I will flag it, if so, with the gurus. But at least... Okay, so yeah, that item's not showing up at all. Then the next item I want to show you is the Wave Me Apart hairdo. And this actually comes with the Small Fries quest. So Wave Me Apart hairdo. So if I just quickly get rid of that hat for a minute. And let's go through the hair. Well, let's have a look at the hair. So, not really my personal sort of like hairstyle that I would go for. That just reminds me of like the 90s. Obviously, I know some of the 90s stuff is back in fashion, but there's some stuff that just needs to stay in the 90s. <laughs> okay, so next item I'm looking for now is the Puppy Love Puffy Top. And... This will definitely not be at the top, will it? Oh, there we go. That was easy. And this comes in six different colour swatches. It's quite a nice top. It's all right. Then the last cast item, and it's an outfit item, and it's a Sikoro, Sik Sirocco wave dress. And it's quite funky, actually. And this comes in six different colour swatches. I actually like this. This is kind of like cash, like... I kind of like that one. Actually, yeah, you can stay in it. Okay, so the next items I'm going to show you, so not in any particular order, are the items from this treasure hunt. So first item I want to show you is the Mao Tai Tiki Bar. And it comes in six different colour swatches. Then we also have the Grace and Granure Marble Column. So finally we're starting to get some more columns now. This just screams out romantic garden stuff from The Sims 4. Then over here, let's just move out of the way. So I'm going to go in order. So we've got a Chrome Tone Hanging Light. And that comes in six different colour swatches. Then we have the Open Norwegian Fireplace, which I absolutely adore. And that comes in six different colour swatches. Then we have the Nor Baroque Bookshelf. And that comes in six different colour swatches. Butcher in the name again, sorry. And then we have the Snuggle Double Bed, which is a nice double bed. I quite like it. And that comes in six different colour swatches. And down here we have the Ball and Claw Foot Chair which comes in six different colour swatches. Then we have the Hardly at Work Office Desk. And this comes in six different colour swatches. I actually really like this computer desk. Then down here we have the Vintage Punk Trunk, which has lots of stickers on, <laughs> which the gurus are really excited about. And this comes in six different colour swatches. Then we have here the Solidary... Solid Terry siesta bed and this comes in six different colour swatches 
and that just screams out to me eco lifestyle with like what it looks like i don't know why don't question me it is what it is so yeah those are the items in that treasure hunt and that'll be lovely knickknacks and that'll be a 13 event a day event or 11 for some reason it says 13 here but it could be 11 and that is starting on the 18th of january so the next thing i'm going to look at is the one last event of this update in this video i'm not going to be covering the limited time offers i don't think i'm g i probably will change my mind by the time this video is out but i might do the separate videos for the limited limited time offers like i did last time in the last update but i'm not going to add it into this video because not everyone likes paid packs and i appreciate that so let's have a look at the last event of this update so simmers the last up well, the last event of this update is going to be on the 2nd of February and it's going to be a Sweet Treat Showdown rerun, Dessert for Two. So I will put in the link, well, I'll put the links in the description to either mine, if I have covered it before in the past on my channel, like the reruns, I'll put my links. If I haven't, I'll be posting Rachel Bob's videos. So please check out the description on these events that basically being rerun and let me know what you guys think about this update so like i said a few minutes ago i'm not going to cover the limited time offers that much anymore especially in these overview videos for the update what do you think about this update then like is it better than the previous update like please let me know in the comments don't forget to tweet out on twitter to the gurus your thoughts and stuff that that can help improve the game like they have got some really good ideas and to be honest i am quite excited to see and learn what's going to happen with the game in the future so thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll be around soon thank you very much take care